Good morning, good afternoon, good evening guys. Today I'm going to show you the best settings for Warzone and OBS for streaming on YouTube. These are settings I personally use and these are settings that I found that works the best. It's taken me many hours to mess around with these settings and get into just right so without further ado let's get right into the video. Right guys, so we're going to start with the Warzone settings first. These are quite important as to what your stream is going to look like. Uh, so we'll s jump straight into the graphics settings basically. The graphics settings, what you want is low. You want your graphics settings to low detail basically. Because if you have too much detail and you're streaming, if your bitrate isn't the... Which we'll get into after. If your bitrate isn't the best and your computer is low range kind of thing build, you're gonna get blurry streams basically because you know you'd be streaming from one computer I assume that's what I'm doing anyway I'm streaming, streaming and playing on the same computer so you won't put your details right down and that will basically mean your streams gonna be nice quality and crispy as well uh, so obviously select your monitor full screen uh, your graphics card uh, screen refresh rate I say it's same as my uh, refresh rate on my monitor Render resolution, they're keeping uh, 1920 by 1080 uh, that is the best one really to do. I mean, you can upscale it, but again, if you've got a high-end computer, fair enough. Mine's a pretty high-end computer, but still, I use 1920, 1080. That works best for me. Uh, dyna dynamic resolution disabled. Frame rate target, 60. Uh, the main ones, really. Um, sync every frame, I disabled that as well. Aspiratio on automatic. Uh, do, do, do. any of you that had highlights you want to disable them because they could take up quite a bit of processing power uh, obviously you know when they capture the highlights of your game or if you kill someone or anything like that so I just disable that there's no need for it because you're gonna capture everything in your live stream anyway and that's gonna get saved on YouTube uh, studios anyway so there's no need for it because even when you live stream as well you can easily clip the clip that you want to clip I know it takes a little bit of work but it's just no point doing the highlights at all the way I see it and the NVIDIA ref, uh, Reflex Low Latency, I just put that to Enabled, uh, that works the best for me. Uh, so you go in Quality, I mean Field of View, we most of us use 120, uh, maybe some use less. Uh, camera movements, least, minus 50%. And then Streaming Quality, I put Normal, Texture Resolutions to Low, you can go even lower if you want, but I wouldn't go any higher than Low. Trust me, there's absolutely no need for it. Textures, uh, particle quality, I put them both on low as well. Bullet impact sprays, now this is quite optional because it has such a little impact on your graphics card. So you can actually disable it if you want to, but I enable it just for the... Because it looks nice, basically. Tessellation, technically you should put this all the way down, but I kind of like it near. That works best for me, um, you know, as far as I've tested it kind of thing. This membermen, again, that is up to you kind of thing. That's not going to affect your stream that much, really, at all. Uh, on-demand texture streaming, I've disabled that completely. There's absolutely no need for it. Uh, so film, uh, film, filmic strength, I put that to zero. Filmic grain, zero. Uh, Nvidia DLSS, I disabled that. My frames are pretty good when I'm playing, so I don't, there's no need for it. It only improves the quality slightly. I mean, I don't, I just don't see any need for it to be honest. Even though I have an RTX graphics card, I could easily do it and boost my frames per second or the performance of it, but I just don't see any any need for it whatsoever. Until a alias, I put it to uh, SMAA1X. Uh, that works the best. That's why I have my film strength to zero because I got that on one. Uh, def uh, def field disabled. World motion blur is disabled. Weapon motion blur disabled. Is literally everything is literally low on your graphics even though I could boost all this up to max and my game will still be performing absolutely brilliantly with no issues whatsoever but for streaming you want it low trust me you do I spend many hours testing these things you definitely want it low shadows low you still can see shadows they're just not as detailed as what they would be an ultra kind of thing uh, spot uh, spot shadows and sun shadows I enable them it just makes it up smoother when you stream it as well particle lighting put that low there's no need it's just basically the detail in the actual gameplay of 
I don't know, explosion or anything like that kind of thing. There's no need for it, just put it low. Again, if you put it high, there's so much detail that needs to be rendered and decoded by your graphics card when you're streaming it. Uh, direct X-ray tracing, I disable that again, there's no need for it. Uh, that, I kind of put it to both really, amb ambient. So it works out quite good, so I'll put it in both. Uh, screen space reflections, I'll put that on low. Uh, like I said, you just want to keep all these details, your your game detail, to the lowest. And if you look at my streams, I have a lot of detail in my stream compared to if you look at some other people's streams. Like even now, just in the star screen, you can see the crisp cl clear, every single detail of a character, the car, the bike behind it, whatever. Honestly, it makes a huge difference when you stream because I made this mistake and I spent hours and hours of messing around with the settings trying to find the best balance of both. But then I quickly realized if you put it lower and mess around with some settings, you know, to make it look sharper, sharper so it's not blurry and anything like that, it makes such a big difference. So if you go with the settings I have, if you copy my settings exactly, trust me, you'll have a nice stream. Now then, let's move on to the OBS settings, which could change for a lot of other people, it all depends on your setup, but we'll cross that in a minute. Right guys, so let's move on to the OBS settings now and then. These are quite important, but again, this can vary for everyone, they, they can be different for everyone basically, so right, let's jump right into OBS, uh, ignore that, uh, I'll just disable that. So, if you go into your settings, so obviously you stream, connect your account, blah blah blah, whatever. So in your streaming, you want to go on advanced. Uh, I can't change any of these now because obviously I'm recording this video now. So I have set my bit rate to 12,000, but you'll see why in a minute. But that obviously depends on your upload speed. So depending on your upload speed, like my maximum upload speed is 21 megabytes per second. So that's basically 21,000 more or less kind of thing, but you never, never ever want to max that out. So you never want to put in there 21,000 megabytes per second, even though that's what you have, because you always want to leave a leeway. You want to leave about two to 3,000 off that. So basically if you have 21, you maximum you want to go up to about is 18 really. Because when you stream, your bitrate will jump up and down so you, uh, my bitrate jumps sometimes from 12 12 uh, 12,000 to about 13 and a half to 14 at tops but in, it doesn't never get to 14 really just kind of close uh, so you rate control over your CBR um, your preset I put in max quality uh, profile high Max B frames two. Everything else is more or less uh, default. I think. I look ahead. I think that was pr that was ticked normally. So I unticked that, which worked out better for me. Uh, so audio, set up your mic, your headset, whatever kind of thing. So your base canvas is 1920 by 1080. That is what my game is at, and that's what my monitor uh, resolution is at as well. But what you want to do is you want to output scale, uh, scale resolution. You want to set it to 2560 by 1440. Now the re I'll get to that just in a second. Why? But trust me, that's why I have my bitrate set at 12,000 because of my output resolution. If I put that down to 1920, yes, I could put my bitrate down. But basically, if you use that resolution, YouTube is going to kind of stream it to 4K, even though you don't need people don't need to watch your 4k you'll be like 1080 you can watch your kind of thing which is absolutely fine people will still be able to watch your stream easily without having to use a lot of data up if that makes any sense i've tested my devices and you know devices you know from my friend's phone kind of thing it, it works absolutely fine there's no issues with people actually watching your stream and having it a buffer kind of thing because you say such a high uh, resolution to 4k kind of thing because you can always downscale but there's a huge reason why you want to keep your resolution as that is so i'll tell you and i'll show you why exactly now so for example let's say you go and sh go let's go i'm picking literally a random stream now so obviously this person streaming now he's got three watching if you right click on the video you've got stats for nerds uh, this is I think this guy's doing the right thing <laughs> that was not the best example so let's go somewhere else so let's go to him so obviously you can see 1080 60p basically so if you've got stats for nerds if you see there codec it's AVC1 that is the c uh, codec 
and colder that YouTube gives you if you're a small streamer is basically the worst encoder there is. That's why your streams won't be crisp or that nice looking. So like now he's got a okay kind of looking stream, but as soon as there's a, a gunfight breaks out, there's a lot of detail to render, it won't render as well. So let's go check out another stream. So I don't know. Let's go Dr. Disrespect, one of my favorite streamers. So that's for nerds. Here you can see he's using VP09. That is the best the best you can get as an encoder. He streams really nice quality, doesn't do all that blurriness kind of thing. Obviously, you still need a high end computer to kind of stream at them settings, but does this way he uses two setups. Uh, Tim the Tapman, he uses two setups as well. So he plays on one computer, streams another computer with uh, video capture cards and so on and so on. But that is the encoder you want. That's why you upscale mine, because when you upscale it, that's what Dr. Disrespect has done there. He has upscale as well. So when you upscale yours, you'll get that option 1440p60. That is exactly what you're going to get. So let's say we go on my channel. And then let's go on my recent stream. So if you look there, VP09. That is the code that I've been given. And that is only, only possible because I used uh, that upscale resolution basically in my OBS settings which is that 2560 times 1440 that is the only way you're gonna get the best encoder it is important if you want that encoder you need to upscale it the time when you can stop upscaling things is when you get a lot of viewers and a lot of audience to your live stream because that's when YouTube automatically is just gonna give you the best encoder because you're having a lot of people coming to watch your stream so it's a revenue for them is revenue for for you as well kind of thing so that is when they actually benefit from it but until then they won't give it to you unless you know this little trick kind of thing which i figured out myself somehow <laughs> i was just this is what i mean i spent hours messing around with these things and it's insane uh i did set fractional uh, fps value to 60 i mean i could just use a normal kind of thing but i was just messing with sayings and that just works so i just left it like that kind of thing uh but yeah output if you use the exact same settings as me and you got at least 20 megabytes of upload speed and your computer is pretty decent like, like i have a 12 core pros uh, rtx 3070 ti uh 16 gigabytes of ram ssds and whatnot kind of thing i have enough beefy kind of computer to upscale things and run my streams pretty high resolution obviously you want you to keep your wars on settings low that's how you get the crispy kind of look so if you copy my settings and you are able to use my settings, trust me, your stream is going to look exactly the same as mine. You can easily go look at my streams because the way the stream looks there now, even, even if it's a past stream, it will look exactly the same when I'm stream live streaming. If you don't believe me, come check me out when I'm live streaming. I normally live stream in the evenings kind of thing, six onwards, maybe today a little bit later, but well, more or less I'm streaming every day. So you're more than welcome to come check it out. Uh, but trust me, these settings that worked for me spend many, many, many hours messing around. So, yeah, I hope this video has definitely helped you because I struggled. I struggled. I was watching so many videos of people <sighs> telling me 10, 20 different things, what to change, what to do. And then I kind of just put them all together and I just came up with my own kind of thing, even though I had to come up, well, change a lot of things myself as well. So yeah i hope this has helped out a lot especially if you're streaming on youtube because twitch is completely different they have their guidelines youtube has their guidelines but they don't make it clear everyone's setup is different so like if you have a decent computer and you're able to copy my settings the way my streams look that's exactly what yours is going to look so i hope this video has definitely helped and clear cleared some stuff up because there's a lot of videos out there and a lot of them are just telling you different things but don't work for you really if you have two setups that's brilliant because you'll be able to stream at such a high resolution and quality. It's 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 insane. But those small streamers, we can't afford that at the moment. <laughs> Maybe in the future. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Take it easy. I'll catch you in the next one.